Are you ready to know which states are most likely to collapse in the near future? Let's find out which states are in big trouble if a crisis hits this year. Some places might face disaster fast, while others may hold out a bit longer. Hit the like button and stay with us to learn where the dangers are so you can stay safe. At number 8 Louisiana, Louisiana often faces severe weather, especially hurricanes. Climate change is making these storms worse and more frequent, causing lots of damage. A polluted area along the Mississippi River, called Cancer Alley, has high cancer rates and health problems. Louisiana is also in a homeowner's insurance crisis. Many insurance companies left or went bankrupt after several hurricanes, making insurance very expensive. The benefits of industrial activities are not shared equally, worsening social inequalities. Pollution and weak healthcare systems make it hard for the state to provide medical care during crises. Low-income and minority communities have fewer resources, making it harder for them to improve their living conditions and resilience. At number seven, let's talk about Alaska. People there live in a tough way and do a lot on their own. They hunt for food and use what they find in nature, but they still need things like gas, food from stores and other stuff from outside. It's hard to grow food there because the weather is tough and the growing time is short. Even though Alaska doesn't have big city riots, if there's a big problem, like not enough food or gas, it'll be tough. The Alaska Permanent Fund, which helps with money, has some issues with leaders that might make things harder. Also, the crab fishing there isn't doing well because of changes in the environment, which hurts local jobs. Not having enough homes and them being too expensive makes it hard to get and keep important workers like teachers and nurses. This makes it harder for the community to stay strong. People are trying to fix these problems, but they haven't fixed them all yet. At number six, let's talk about Mississippi. There are money problems there that have been around for a long time. About one out of every five people there doesn't have enough money to live well. The healthcare system there isn't strong either, with a lot of babies dying compared to other places. Many small hospitals in rural areas might have to close so people won't be able to get the medical help they need. Mississippi hasn't agreed to give more people health insurance through Medicaid, so a lot of folks don't have it. Schools and important services aren't very good, which causes big health problems for everyone. When natural disasters like hurricanes and floods happen, it makes things even worse because Mississippi's buildings and roads aren't strong enough to handle them well. At number five, let's talk about Illinois. They're having a tough time with money, especially with the universities spending a lot on pensions. Because of this, college fees are going up and the state is giving less money to schools. The opioid crisis is really bad there too, with over 3,000 people dying from overdoses in 2021. This is making it hard for hospitals to help everyone and it's causing big problems in society. Healthcare workers there have always been great when I was there, but the state is very money hungry and is constantly enforcing large fines on problems they think they find within healthcare facilities. With this action taking place, many healthcare professionals are leaving the state to find better employment opportunities. Also, not as many people are living in Illinois anymore, which means there's less money coming in from taxes to pay for things like schools and roads. If you've driven through Illinois in the last 20 years, you know the roads are bad and road construction takes five years to get five miles complete. Bad weather, like tornadoes and big storms, are happening more often in Illinois. This is wrecking homes and roads, and it's putting even more pressure on the state to fix things. At number four, California faces multiple challenges. Earthquakes and floods threaten the state, with aging dams posing risks to millions. Recent bank failures have shaken confidence in financial stability. Moreover, rapid groundwater depletion strains the ecosystem. Climate change exacerbates problems with longer, hotter heat waves, testing the limits of the outdated power grid. Additionally, frequent intense wildfires pose significant environmental and economic threats. It's a complex situation where natural disasters, infrastructure vulnerabilities, and environmental concerns intersect, demanding careful attention and innovative solutions for the state's resilience and sustainability. At number three, New Jersey faces big money problems because it owes a lot for pensions. This makes it hard to pay for important things like 
services and emergencies. There are also health issues, especially for black mums, who are more likely to die during childbirth. Trying to use cleaner energy is good, but it makes the power system weak, especially in crowded coastal areas that are in danger from disasters. The misuse of fentanyl, a dangerous drug, is getting worse, making it harder for hospitals and clinics to help everyone. Fixing these problems will need a lot of work, like managing money better, making healthcare fairer, and getting ready for disasters. At number two, New York, especially New York City, faces significant vulnerability during crises due to its large population of over 8 million people. The city relies heavily on external support and struggles with high crime rates and economic challenges, which could escalate rapidly. Economic instability is exacerbated by increasing household debt and bank failures. Nearly 39% of households are burdened by high housing costs, contributing to the nation's highest homelessness rates. Moreover, the city is susceptible to natural disasters like earthquakes and coastal storms made worse by aging infrastructure and dense population, making recovery efforts more challenging. At number one, Florida faces significant risks from natural disasters such as hurricanes and sinkholes. Its densely populated areas heavily rely on external resources, leaving the state vulnerable to disruptions in supply lines. The insurance market in Florida is precarious, leading to much higher home insurance premiums compared to the national average. The state's economy heavily depends on tourism, making it susceptible to the impacts of natural disasters and economic downturns. Moreover, Florida's population is rapidly growing, with a considerable proportion being elderly residents, which increases the demand for healthcare and emergency services. This heightened demand could potentially overwhelm these services during a crisis. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and kindly subscribe to Global Vista as it is a big help to our channel. That's all from us and have a great day.